Well, uh, looks like I got some blue skies today, which is fantastic. I'm going to walk past Johns Lake. I'm going to start over at the Sperry Trailhead and walk along the trail that follows going to the Sun Road that comes out by Avalanche. And then I'll go ahead and do Johns Lake Loop so you can go ahead and take a look at that. A uh, little bit of water probably going to be on the trail and some downfall as it's not always maintained the best. The loop is, I believe, but not the uh, this trail. So anyways, I'll take a look at it and you can see if uh, something that you want to do. Well, I just got walking, started from over there. Um, there's a horse corral over there just as you're starting up the Sperry Trail. Now, if we were going to go to the chalet, we want to make a right. We're going to go ahead and sneak over here to the left. So here we are with another fork in the road. I've gone maybe a tenth of a mile, it feels like, and I've already had to make a couple decisions. But um, so behind me is the corral, and over here are trails. I'll make you sick by doing that. Let's see. Okay, so to the right, you can see Gaines Elevation. To the left, it's all flat, and to the left is where we're going to go. You can see this guy right over here. I don't know if we can read that or not. There we go. We got, a, you know, Sperry Chalet and the campground and the glacier and all that stuff. And what we're interested in, this guy right over here. Avalanche Campground, Johns Lake, and what not. No bikes. So, as always, we're entering bear country. So, look out. Bear spray. Check. Right there. Look at that. Bear spray, look at that. We're good to go. So if you're coming from the Lake McDonald area, there's this little spur trail that I needed to pick up here um, that kind of just wanders along. You can see going to the Sun Road right over there. But this is a little way you can go ahead and hop up onto that, that Johns Lake Trail, which is uh, just kind of fun. So there's just a handful of little spur trails I'm picking up, kind of seeing cool little areas. There's a fun little fun little bridge coming up right over here. You know, just little nuggets of, of goodness right here. Look at that little stream coming through here. So anyways, this thing walks up, comes up here, crosses going to the sun. You can see down there, little Lake McDonald Lodge sign. Hurry up and get across the road here. It goes across this trail, back up to the Johns Lake Trail. So here we are back at the junction. There's a little spur trail. It's where I came from, it's where I'm going. Little sign kind of nestled back in there. And uh, Billy decided that he wanted to uh, take a ride, which I think is convenient because he's not going to be hauling me later on, so I'm kind of a little bit irritated about that but you know that's what happens some people you hike with so when you decide that you're gonna walk all the trails in Glacier National Park sometimes it's super epic other times you find yourself on a horse path next to the road heading over to a bridge coming down here to a really cool spot um, that comes all the way down to the water and there's this uh, really well, I'm gonna show you here this really old school bridge that goes, and you got this nice moss here, this bridge that horses go through to take us to McDonald Creek. Well, I made it to the Avalanche Creek Trail Junction. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go see if I can find a ride back to the little Johns Lake cut off. That way I can save, I don't know, about an hour of walking so I can uh, take off and get some dinner. So I just got a ride from a couple, which was really nice because it saved me um, about an hour of walking. And I'm just passing John's Lake. You can see, you really can't get a, really close to the lake, at least this time of year. So maybe, I don't know, maybe later on during the year, um, you can kind of get past the trees and see into it. But it's a cute little lake. Um, ducks, geese, that kind of stuff on it. Now it's time for the back to the car review. The uh, trail I did once again was from the Sperry Trailhead by Lake McDonald all the way down to Avalanche Lake 
trailhead and um, and it passes John's Lake. It's a really nice, lush, you know, cedars, spruces, lots of moss, that kind of stuff, some fiddle ferns, and just really a, a really nice, a nice hike. Not too much, just, you know, gentle up and down kind of a thing, a lot of flat stuff. I think in the middle of summer when it's really hot out, it'll be nice to walk in the shade. But, you know, you really don't get a lot of the epic glacier views or anything so if you're really wanting to do that this is definitely not your hike but if you kind of like the the Ewoks you know are going to pop out from behind the trees kind of a thing there's some really nice really big um, you know rocks and and uh, cedars and just you know just that kind of thing so um, yeah it's a really really nice hike the Johns Lake Loop I think would be a really nice if you just wanted to do a really quick one um, you know like I said though the, the terrain is very similar to last my last hike which was mcdonald creek because it's in the same valley bottom so it'll be really cool as we go further to go from this really lush area to to see some more of the um the different types of climate zones that we have here in glacier park so um until next time i'm jake